So today we are starting our actual color value scales of tertiary colors. We're going to start with red orange. And so the first thing that we're going to do is choose from our orange which one is your favorite. Your favorite and my favorite may not be the same thing, and that's okay. So I chose as my favorite the warm red and the warm yellow, which is this one. But because I'm making red orange, not orange, I'm also going to add in more warm red. So we're going to mix the color. You mix your color and add more of whatever red. So if you chose the one with the cool red and the cool yellow, then you'll make your orange but add in more of the cool red. Does that make sense? Okay. Actually, you can try adding warm red. It's up to you because it's all about experimentation and figuring out what you like best. And I'm going to make a healthy, healthy amount of this because I've got to use it as the hue plus three tones and three tints. So I'm using about twice the amount of red as I am yellow. Once I have that, I mix it together, and I should get a red orange. Okay. Once I find the color that I like, I'm going to go in and paint it on my paper. I'm trying to stay in the lines, but again, no worries. It's just a handout, but we will use this when we are doing our actual paintings as a reference for what to use. So I've already written down my recipe here, and you're going to need to write down your recipe, whatever you decide to use. So I had warm red and warm yellow plus more warm red. So I just added it in the warm red again. As I start to work on the tints, I'm going to rinse my brush off really well because I'm about to dip into my white paint. And I'm going to get just a little amount of white. And I'm going to start at an edge of my pile of red orange. And I'm going to mix a little bit of white in with it. And then paint. Then I am going to grab a little more white, mix in with the same area. So if you see, I'm mixing right here. That's where I put my original amount of white in. I'm going to put more white back into that same area. Just a little bit of white at a time. And once I mix that, I will paint that onto my paper. And then I'm going to grab one more blob of white. Mix it in with that same area for a much lighter tint. Ooh, need more white. Last one, you may need lots of white. There we go. And so now I have graduated values going from the hue to a much lighter tint. Okay, so for the tones, um, we are going to add either the complement, like more and more of the complement, the same way we did more and more of the white, or you can add cool, dark hues. So you could add green, you could add blue, you could add purple, whatever. You could mix them up um, to see. I would, if you were going to mix them up and like test them out, I would do it here and then figure out which ones you like and which ones look darker and go that way. Or I could just take, so the complement of orange is blue, the complement of red is green. Um, since on my palette I already have blues, I could just use one of the blues, or both of the blues, and test them out to see which one I like. And add a little blue here, a little more here, a little more here, and get my darker tone. Does that make sense? Or I could do mix up a green, or I could mix up a violet, and then do it from there. I just felt like since this might be easier, since it's already on my palette, then I'm going to try the blue. So I have cool blue here, I have warm blue here. I'm going to get a little of one and pull some of that paint in and see what I get. It's just not bad. And then I'm going to test the other blue just to see which one I like more. Since I use the warm colors here, I, this is the warm that I put in here, but I'm going to try the cool 
just in case because again that's what this activity is all about is seeing how different colors work with one another so this value is with the warm or the cool rather the cool blue this value is with the warm blue so they're fairly similar but i think i like the warm blue better so once i've determined which one i like i'm going to go with that it needs much more of this orange in it and then all i'm going to do as i move down is add more of that warm blue as i get now in order for us to recall what we're doing here we're going to recipe so here I'm going to write, I'm going to add warm blue. Here I'm going to add warm blue, warm blue. And here I'm going to add three warm blue. Does that make sense? So I only have to, we know we're adding white here. We know what's going on here. There's no reason for that. But on this side, if I'm only going to use warm blue, I'm going to write that here. If I use warm blue here and warm blue and green here, then I would have to throw that in there. I'd have to change that. Does that make sense? That's it. And so once you finish one, if you finish one, you can move on to the second page and there's several others. And I don't care which order you go in. You can go in whichever order. Yes, question. Um, I didn't finish. You, you can go back and do this. Okay. Yes. yes. If you have not finished your grades, you can go back and play with your grades. The black, I had one student on Friday make the black with only two colors and it was awesome. Another student do it with only three colors and it was awesome. I used all six colors. And I did three layers. The layers were the key to making the black for me. So like one layer just looked purple. But when I put a second layer on it, it looked like really dark purple. And when I got the third layer, it looked like black. Okay. And that is all.